Sleeper Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, of course, we explored some of Minecart Land in Goron City. We got the Flame Baker gear, but now we are heading to the next section of our adventure. Of course, if we check the adventure log, the regional phenomena is what we're still chasing after. And with this one, it's way over to the east. We could, of course, you know, sort of start here and fly over, but I think it would be more interesting to sort of travel over there the traditional way. That way we can sort of discover more of the land, figure out what's going on around here, maybe get a couple of shrines along the way. That always feels like to me the more superior way to explore this game so i think that's how we'll get at it now before we get too carried away i do want to of course like change my gear it's not really the most regionally specific i think that we should stick with the soldier screeves um just because it has some good defense to it um we can upgrade it more later down the line and how are we with uh korok seeds we have three of them so i don't think we have enough for an upgrade at the moment so with this set up i think we're really just good to get going we have everything else around the shops and stuff. I've talked to a lot of people around here in the previous episodes. I don't think there's any really other quests to start. If anything, I should probably just get my horse and then we'll be on our way. So I'm talking to Lester, of course, they were going on about spot before, but they also are gonna give us one point for uh, the first visit. Nice, so we actually are up to two points and get a reward available, very cool. Well done, Link. It looks like you're really saving up your points. If you want to claim a reward, be sure to visit a proper stable. I need something for the, from the mini stable. I just need to take my horse. Uh, which horse do you want to take out? Uh, Sky, as per usual. Uh, let's go with Sky, and we will just sort of move forward with all that. Oh, so cute. Thank you for waiting. This little horse, or this one, little, this little one sure looks happy to go for a ride with you. That should wrap things up. Please take care and have a safe trip. Ever been to the stable at the base of the Dueling Peaks? It's in Nukluta, a region that makes up most of the southeast. Not a bad place to stop if you're on your way to Hatina Village or Laurelin Village. I'm sure we'll go sometime soon, but for right now, we're off with what we have right here. I mean, it would have probably have been all that bad of an idea to get rid of the the carriage carrier. Oh, I haven't talked to you. Let's say hello to them. It's even bigger in person. Hi there, welcome to Rolling Pastures. I have to say, the rumors don't do Lookout Landing justice. It's full of people and way bigger than I expected. I'm here from Antenna Village, east of Dueling Peaks. This is actually my first time leaving the Cluda. Maybe that's why everything is so impressive. It's a totally different world. <gasps> Leaving made me appreciate Hateno, though. It's so laid back and idyllic. Uh, you can really relax. Plus, fashions have become really popular there recently. You've really got to visit. Yeah. Now, how about sampling some of my Hateno village's finest? Uh, sure, let's see what you have. I've got a good feeling you're gonna like my stock. Take a look. So, do you have anything new? Oh, with the Hylian tomato, I don't think we've had before. I mean, obviously we can buy a couple of everything since we have a decent amount of rupees. Just make sure we have at least one of each thing. Um, so one bird egg, uh, one swift carrot, which we've definitely had a carrot before. So I'll buy one of these. And then finally the Hylian tomato, which this is definitely new. A fruit found wi widely from cold areas to warm climates, full of nutrition and kind of trendy lately. Use it in cooking to recover more hearts. Okay, sounds good. I'll buy that for 16 rupees, and we're good. We're gonna head out with that. Um, nope, that's it. Come again, got it? Will do. So if we wanna get all the way over here, there's not really too many paths we can follow at the moment, but this one leads off to sort of where we're trying to go. So I figure we'll start there, we'll move over. We'll also be able to get to that yellow one. I think that'd be a good idea, so let's get to it. I think Sky's ready, I'm ready. Let's continue our adventure. All right, very cool, so yeah. I actually haven't played in a little bit of time, so I'm just sort of excited to get back into the action with everything. I think, yeah, off over here. We wanna follow this one, and then when it's the next fork in the road, we take a left. But most of this stuff around here, and I'm, <laughs> we're in sky out too much. Most of this stuff around here, oh my gosh, there's a blood moon already. I was gonna say we've seen, so there probably shouldn't be too much to deal with, but maybe the blood moon will change some things. I do wanna get out as far as I can now, in the meantime. And there's also a tower we can see in the distance if we could get to that today. I'm not quite sure how close it is, but obviously getting more towers would clear up more space for us, and that's always useful. And I guess there'll be some monsters up this way, but should I really bother with it too much if they're just gonna get respawned in a moment anyways? I actually don't know. It would be interesting to fight them, then as we're fighting them, they come back. I got one of them. Let's see. Gotcha. See, I don't know if I've ever fought a camp of bad guys as the Blood Moon is coming in. I don't know if they'll just respawn right on top of me or what goes on here. Whoa, my bow broke there. Interesting. Uh, let's switch our weapon. I don't really need this one too much, but I could try the Topaz Rod. We will, boom, get you like that. 
make you drop some of your stuff, and then let's try the black horrible on hammer. And that should be plenty enough. What did you drop? Just a wooden stick and a couple of monster parts. I will gladly take those. I think there was a few more from the other vocal one. All right, the blood moon is almost here, so I guess we'll find out. Is there anybody else up here? Not that I see, so I'm just going to grab this chest really fast. Where we get an opal. Glad to take that one. And a rusty halberd. Okay, we're stacking up pretty well. Got some extra stuff. Ooh, big rusty claymore. Might as well just grab what I can before this moon reaches the top, but that looks like it's about everything around here. So maybe we'll be able to just clear this out and leave before, before it's even an issue. See, we're taking this path. So we're already on the on the right direction with this one. I'll hop back, hop back on the sky and we'll get going. Oh, it's so spooky. Hold on, no, where are we going? This way, this way. And if the cutscene happens, I'll probably just skip it because we've seen it plenty of times, but it looks like there might be another little fort set up over there. So we'll have to deal with this again soon enough. More enemies and stuff. Oh no, here we go. Run, Sky, run. So spooky. There it goes. Okay, so like I said, we'll skip this one just because we've seen it before. If it lets me. Give me the uh, option. There you go. Then <laughs> it disappeared. All right, cool. So we're back to it. Plenty of enemies over here. I think they were already over here though, so it's you know not too crazy. Let's see if I can't. Oh, I got you good there. That was great. And you're gonna call your friend, so I should probably get you like that. I see your friend over there. Ooh, well, at least I got a couple of shots out of it. I gotta be very careful though because they're rushing over as soon as possible. You know what? Oh yeah, we have a... Nobo helping us out here, which is always good. Should probably switch to a better bow. Something like this would, would be much better. But weapons, ooh. Give me a second here. I wanna use the Soldier 2 Reaper for now. Get a couple swings in on you, and that should be enough to take you out. Very nice. Grab some of those, and oh, the tree is here too? Everybody's, wow, there's enemies all over the place. What is going on right now? Did they fall from this rock? There's trees, there's these guys, I forget their names right now. This is crazy. Do I have pictures of all of them? I think I do. Con Constructs versus Evermans right now. This is so cool. All right, I'll let them fight. They, these guys are fighting some Bokoblins too. This is crazy. Okay, my bow broke. Um, I'll just equip another one. And then I guess I'll just go for you. You didn't even see me. There is so much going on all at the same time right now. It's a little overwhelming. These two, don't go for me. Don't do it. Instead, I'll get rid of these guys. I'll give you a bit of a break, right? And then, I mean, I can try to knock you over a little bit. There you go. Timber, Timber, watch out. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is wild. Okay, go for you. And then, you know what, if we can, fly way up and then maybe super slam on you, that was great. And then I almost finished with you, just like this. Got it. And that's gonna give us a strong construct bow, flame emitter club if we wanted it, which I figured that'd be better than a wooden stick. So I'll toss the wooden stick. Ooh, look at this stuff. Did I take a picture of this before? I didn't. Captain Construct 2 horn. Looking really good then. Definitely wanna grab that. Probably combine it with some weapons later on. We'll get this flame emitter club though for now. So much good stuff around here. This is awesome. Let me get the Hyrule Herbs. And what's the deal with this? What's gonna be up top here with the Ascend? I'm having a lot of fun just exploring around. We're not even really getting too much specific done, but there is a horse stable up there, which is good. Definitely not one I don't think we've been to. T three time bombs, cool. Let's take a good luck. Yeah, I'm trying to get to that shrine right there, the yellow one. There's a lot of horses out that way. I wonder if any of them are Spot. There's one of our side quests right now is to find Spot. And there's a big cave there with some bad guys in it for sure. Okay, lots of things to do. I'll have to keep working on it for right now. Need to hop down here and try to break these open. Actually, I should just use the Ultra Hand and break it like that. Just that way we don't actually make a huge explosion that hurts us a bunch. So drop that one, boom, get a few more arrows, which I do need the arrows. We're getting a little low in them just because I use them so often. So whatever I can get out of this is good. Oh, that one did not break. Try that again. There we go. And then this one, no, the arrows are rolling down the hill. I need those. Okay, we'll get them later. I'll grab 
Ooh, a Korok frond. And I can't pick that up, but over here, anything good? The fronds, yeah, they're not part of my uh, inventory. What about this spiked Boko shield? Did I ever get a picture of this one? I feel like it's a little too specific. No, I have, okay. Just trying to make sure. Anyways, I grabbed the most of the stuff. I think we're good. What is over there? Oh, it's you again. Where is, that's way back that way though, darn. I wonder if I should go catch up with, I probably should. Because we don't get to see them too often. So maybe I can rush over there with um, with Sky. I don't know if it'd be faster to do that or to, hmm, it's hard to tell at the moment. I'll just rush over there. I don't know if they're closer to the shield, or the, shield, the shrine, over that way. But maybe if we rush over, we can get to them. I don't know though. What if I were to really quick do this? I don't have any markers to place over there. It's a little frustrating. Um, I don't think so. I think we just want to ride over. And there's somebody else here on the carriage. Is that who we talked to before? I think so. So I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Cause I don't know if they'll fly away in the morning. <laughs> I really don't want that to happen. So if I can just get over to them real quick. Oh, and these guys did come back. Good to know. All right, please don't fly away. It's almost morning. Come on, we're almost there. Sort of, maybe. <laughs> so as I try to get closer, it looks like they flew away. I don't see them anymore. Very unfortunate. Okay, well, I was just trying to get to them in time before uh, they flew away, but unfortunately that doesn't work out because they just sort of go away during the daytime. So whenever you spot them and it's nighttime, you definitely want to make the most of it, but they're certainly not here anymore. So I'm like way off track for what I was trying to get to now. A little unfortunate, but I'll turn back around and I guess we'll get back to that. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting back to where we were. Sorry about that, but you know, I, I wanted to take my chance while I had it, and I do see our little sign friend up here. So maybe it worked out in the end. It looks like there might be a few things over here to check out too. So let's go ahead and build you the sign structure you need to be happy. This one has a little notch in it, so that should make it a fair bit easier just to keep it up there. I think we just sort of squeeze it in like this. Perfect. And then pretty simply just put these on the side. And probably one is enough, but always like to keep it safe. We can just get this on that side. It really shouldn't budge, I don't think. If we wanted to be super safe with it, I guess I could get this, bring it, oh wait, right about there, and then grab the other one, just to make it super duper sturdy. Like I said, even this, probably not too much of a big deal. All right, Addison, I got gotcha. you. We can go ahead and let go. And that should be good. Will he be okay? He won't fall? He's standing. There we go. So, we got gotcha, you, Addison. And with that, we get another one done. I wonder how many of these there are throughout Hyrule. It's gotta be like 100 or 200, just something crazy, right? Uh, fills my heart with joy to see him doing well standing on his own. So what do we get this time? Of course, another red rupee and some veggie rice balls. Always good to have some extra food, so I'm not complaining. Uh, and the sleepover ticket, those are always fun. I usually don't need them too often, but it could be a nice way to restore health without having to use food and stuff, so definitely take that. I also saw, is there islands above us? There's a dragon way up there, so cool. It doesn't look like there's any directly above me because I did see this one, and I'm guessing we could send this back up from somewhere. I'm a little worried though that I'm getting too distracted and I should focus on other things for now though. Because I definitely want to make as much progress as we can over to, I mean, I think this isn't the, the Gerudos, the Gerudos are way down there. This is gonna be the uh, the Zora, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. I guess we'll find out as we get closer. Oh, and here's a well. Let's go into the, into this well, because we need to get into those. Let's, let's hop off of uh, Sky for a moment. Seems like a nice area. We're just gonna hop into this. Whoa, what is it over there? That looks pretty intense. We've got the Rubine Bridge Well. So I'm gonna fly, oh man, not on fire, <laughs> not good. Oh, hey, the ladder. Oh, are you stuck down here? This is Dilly. Oh my gosh, already? I've waited a long time for someone to rescue me. 
It's my own darn fault I'm here, though. Dropped something down the well and climbed in after it. Uh... I even had a ladder, but yeah. It broke when I tried to climb up. Climb, to climb up. Ah. Then on top of that, my best buddy I go everywhere with should have noticed, but uh, he didn't. He kept right on going. Huh. Come on, man, really? Sorry, not your fault. Can't tell, can't tell you how happy I am that you came down here. But what now? The ladder's wrecked. Uh. I mean, the broken part is still here, so we technically could fix it if the dang ladder weren't so high to reach. All right, well, fell into a well. <laughs> Maybe we can help out. When you entered the Repine Bridge well, you found Dilly trapped inside. He says he went down there to get something he dropped and then the ladder broke. Now he can't get back out. Okay, well obviously we just need to help out real quick with one of these, but I did wanna see, is there anything else in here? Really doesn't look like it. I mean, a little fish in there, but nothing too crazy. So we'll grab this, whoa. Whoa, it's a very floppy ladder. So if I just, uh, do this and then connect it right there. I gotcha. So that should fix it, right? Should I combine it with something down here? Maybe to make it a bit sturdier? That seems like a good idea. I don't really have too much though, but maybe even just something like this just to keep it a bit sturdier on the ground. Then we'll grab a bunch of these. Wait, one more. Got it. How does that work for you? It's just you and me now. Stuck down at the bottom of a well. Not the worst place to call home, I guess. Well, you could try. Huh, wait, it's fixed? Did you do that? You're incredible. Now let's get out of here already. I guess it worked. Man, you saved me. I thought I'd be stuck in that well for the rest of my life, seriously. I really owe you, so here, take this. Purple Rupee, nice. I'm gonna catch up to my buddy Jora and head to the Foothill Stable, so we can apply for the Zonai Survey Team. See you around, thanks again. And hey, don't go falling into any wells, okay? Well, it's easier for me to get out than most people. All right, that was very cool. And with it, fell into a well is complete. You fixed the broken ladder. Having escaped the well, Dilly headed off to Foothill Stable after his traveling partner, Jura. Awesome. So now I am incredibly curious of what's going on with this one. This is so scary looking. Whoa. Whoa, hey, watch out. Oh, I got a couple of them. That was great. Lots of monster parts. Oh man, and now they're exploding. Oh no, that was a, uh... <laughs> that was you. <laughs> All right, well. Some of them are rolling down the water. I'm not gonna chase after them, but that was still a nice set of easy keys parts. What is this place? Discovery. We have found the Rebene Bridge Cave, and inside is at least gonna be a bubble gem then. Wow. Oh, and we have some of the unfavorable, uh, horrible ones who don't seem to have noticed me just yet. I wanted to see if we've gotten a picture of the blue ones we have. Oh, they've noticed me. All right, well, me being so desperate to take a picture of everything. Might get myself in trouble now. Okay, you know what, we should set this to this so that when they start tossing stuff at me, I hopefully won't be in so much trouble. Okay, ready? Oh, I still have this fire sword, which is great, but I probably wanna switch over to something that'll just do more damage. Gotcha. Okay, what else we have going on around here? Um, ooh, looks like Toolin is getting busy. Gotcha. Oh no. One more shot up there. Oh, you're falling down yourself, actually. Okay, gotcha. That was great. So we get a couple of arrows out, out of that and a chest for our troubles. Very nice. So I'll grab some of this stuff. There's food on this one. Interesting. They just combined all their, huh. Okay then. Oh, and we get a golden one over here. I will definitely take that. Also pick this up just in case. Oh, there's a little bug underneath. Let's grab that. And then what do I want to use to break this open? Do I have anything good for that at the moment? Uh, not really. So that rock I just got, we can combine it with the rusty claymore, I guess. Um, always good to have some kind of rock sword kind of deal. So we'll break this open. We'll get ourselves some good stuff there. Sapphire, amber, and topaz up this way. I can break this one too. Probably not get as much crazy stuff yet. It's the golden ones we're usually after. And I guess we'll send up this way. Takes a while, there we go. And this is the chest, so we'll get a couple of goodies. No, come on, I wasn't done. <laughs> Darn. Okay, try that again. All right, I'm up here, grab some of these, open up this chest, and inside, 
is five bomb flowers. Doesn't seem like a huge prize, but honestly, really useful. And it looks like there's even more stuff over there. So if I could just take that, head over. It doesn't look like there's too much on the ground I really need to grab here, so we're just flying up from here. And up here we'll have another treasure chest, a bunch more bright bloom seeds and food. Good set of prizes for sure. But no bubble gem yet. Uh, we got a soldier spear spear. Um, you know what, we'll pick that one up. I think I'll just drop the rusty halberd. Seems like a fair trade, so we'll drop that one, pick this up, and if we take a look at the map, you can see we're in the Rone Bridge Cave, but no bubble gem, which means we haven't found everything there is to find in this cave. So let's take a good look around and make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, and look right up there. Okay, so that's it. To get that, we're just gonna have to use one of the bomb flowers we just got as a reward. So there we go, got it, and are you in there? You are, so let's just go ahead and try to get you like that, there we go. Can you fall all the way down here for me, thank you. And then I'll just hit you with, why not our new weapon? There we go, ready? Oh, we don't even need to, perfect. So that's another bubble gem, and if I hit this one with an arrow, ah, too late, too late. So that was pretty neat. Glad we could get that done. Now we're gonna run out of here, we have 15 of those, which is why I really wanted to run into Kilton and Colton over that way, but. Unfortunately, didn't work out. That's okay. Uh, we'll use Tulin to get back onto this side, and we're just gonna continue our adventure forward. We got a lot more left to do. So if I could just get back on the sky and continue our adventure, I'd be happy. Here we go. Let's go, buddy. Now we actually have to go over the bridge, and oh, there's the stable. So that wasn't too hard to get to. Oh, I do see you. So we're at the Remini Bridge here at Hyrule Field. Could I get up there easily, I wonder? Hmm, would I have to climb up the whole thing? Do I have a picture of you? Wait a minute, hold on. Move out of the way. <laughs> and then, uh, whoa, you are going crazy right now. Oh, I don't have a picture of that wild boar. Very cool, nice picture too. Woodland boar, so yeah, it is a different one. So they're gonna run away, that's fine with me. I don't wanna mess with them. Actually, hold on. Uh, how do I get off, there we go. Could I just use ascend for this? I wonder. Yeah, I don't think I can. So if I wanted to get up this, it would have to just be old fashioned climbing. And for that, cause there could be like a chest or something up there. Yeah, I wanna equip this, how did it know? Very cool. I still don't know if that'll be enough though. I might wanna look into uh, eating some stamina food or something, cause I don't think we'll quite make it. And if that's the case, cause we're not even halfway there and we're definitely using half of our stamina. Do I have food that'll restore my stamina right now? I do, so, oh, that gives a ton. Maybe I'll just use the elixir. Yeah, drink the elixir right now. That'll bring me back almost to a full circle. I think that'll be enough to get up there. I don't wanna jump, because jumping while faster actually doesn't cover as much ground over time. I wanna just slowly climb up. We might make it. Oh, there's more stuff falling from other islands too. Maybe that's a better way to do is to go all the way up on the island and then fall down on top of it, but that's obviously also a lot more difficult in other ways. Oh, I might make it, I might not. Okay, you know what? I don't wanna risk it, we've gone this far. Just, yeah, eat this thing, get a little bit of stamina back and that should be enough just to jump up and get a treasure chest. Awesome, so what do we get inside of this one? A sapphire, very cool. Glad to have it, I had to waste some stamina foods, but we could always get some more. Or some stamina elixirs, both are really good. So let's get back on the sky and check out this stable. Sort of a detour on a little path over to the Zora. But uh, you know what, a very worthwhile one, because we get to talk to a lot of people, and hey, look who it is! It's our uh, pen pal. <laughs> we got Wetland Stable here in Hyrule Field. Let's talk to you first. Welcome, this is Wetland Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Awesome, and we still have a reward available, which we'll check out soon. Now then, once again, welcome Link. Do you wanna register a horse or take one out for a ride? How can I help? Okay, so for right now, I think we're good. We don't need to take out a horse or put one in. Say, Link, have you heard about the trouble in Zoro's Domain? All, all that good water polluted by some kind of mysterious muck. As far as I know, no one knows where it came from. It's terrible for the Zora. Of course, being water folk, I'm not sure how they'll manage. Zora's domain is to the east past the Lanaru wetlands. I used to recommend it to the tourists, but well. So there's something going on with the Zora right now, just like with how everybody else has been having struggles, Zora domain, 
has also been struggling. Let's go ahead and check out what our potential reward is here. The Pony Points Ledger is placed here. Let's see what our reward is then. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to get your Pony Points reward, right? Oh. For seven points, you've unlocked the Mel Melania bed. If you sleep in the L L Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Melania, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. It's a very popular choice among our customers. If you save up just two more points, oh. ooh, you'll be able to register one additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. Awesome, so I guess we have the Melania bed now? Is that something I should check out right at this moment? Oh. Welcome to the stable. You wanna lodge with us? Sure, our girl bed will cost you 20 rupees, but the Melania bed, which we've read about before, costs us 50. I might as well try it. If you sleep in the Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Melania the horse god may also share a mystical message. It's a very popular choice among our customers. Sure, I wanna try it. If you do, uh, when you, would you like to be woken up? Let's just wake up in the morning. Okay, rest well. So we're taking a try on the Melania bed. I am Melania, the god of horses, who grants quicker hooves and thicker hides. In Northeast Hyrule, near a stable in Akala, I am waiting. So we have to go to a stable in Akala, use the Melania bed, and then maybe Melania will have a message for us? That's really cool. So we'll definitely have to keep that in mind. All right, well, rise and shine. We get three golden hearts and a full golden stab in a wheel. Good morning. How are you? Did you hear a message? Has thanks for lodging with us. We present you with one point. All right, cool. So we're already up to uh, one more point needed. Go back again anytime. That's great. So had a lot of fun with that one. I figure we'll take a look around and sort of see what there is to do around the stable too. Like, you know, different little things like this. Um, this will just sort of tell us different uh, I guess elixirs we can make. And is there anything on the board for right now? Ah, Link has an empty frame caught your eye. It has, which we did start a quest with this before, I think. I don't know if this is gonna be a different quest because this is a different stable. We stable owners are going to be putting paintings on display for everyone to enjoy. The stable associated, the stable association figured it'd be a good idea for us to hang the frames first to get ready. Since I'm going to do the trouble of hanging a painting, I'd sure like to hang one of the ring ruins everyone's been talking about. The ring ruins are ruins that each are each shaped like rings. They all fell around Kakariko Village in the southeast. Yeah. My gosh, are they ever a hot topic with all the customers who come here. So I'd like to have a big painting of them to hang on the wall. One that shows the ring shape they have. Uh, but I can't paint that scene without seeing it. Sure, I can see some of the ruins here, but it's all too far away to see well. Anyway, I'd really like to do or do up that painting, but I'm just not sure how to go about it. So a picture for Wetland Stable. Lawden, the owner of the Wetland Land Stable, wants to hang up a big painting of the ring ruins, one that shows the ring shape of the ruins clearly. He says that they can be found in Kakarika Village to the southeast. Maybe there's a way to show a picture to the ruins of the ruins Lawden. I definitely think there is. Well, look at all these cute birds. Rainbow Sparrow, they are adorable. All right, well, I like them a lot, and they're all hanging out in your pen. <laughs> Can I like sneak up? Oh, he's sort of really enjoying his time with them. I just don't want to scare them away. Oh, I'm sorry, pen. What's going on though, buddy? Hey, partner, get a good night's sleep? Oh, actually, hold that thought. We don't have the time to squawk right now. I got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds as if one, uh, one night a while back, and I'm not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed this table's farm tools. Mm. That's a bit unusual. Why would our princess need farm tools? But this story has another odd twist. She promised to return them and didn't. Now, this all might seem trivial. She's a busy princess after all. Still, there are these are strange times, so I got to thinking, only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need for... Wait, Pen, hold on. You've gone ahead of yourself. <laughs> we need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who? Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a man named Ezra lent her the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. Interesting, the missing farm tools, a side adventure. It seems that Princess Zelda borrowed a stable's farm tools and hasn't returned them. Pen has some wild notions about why she needs such tools and why she hasn't returned them, but he wants more facts. Apparently, Ezra, who looks after the stable's raft, might have more details. What did Princess Zelda need those farm tools for? I've a wild guess that it's because only weapons decay during the upheaval, and that would mean 
No, we need facts. I heard that a man named Isra spoke to the princess. I think he watches over the raft at a stable. Okay, so we'll talk to them soon, but in the meantime, I hope they stay away. Well, good morning, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. Word to the wise, even though it's daytime, I'd stay away from the forest near here if I were you. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a, made a forest, I mean a forest dress, I mean a fortress. Anyway, it is B-A-D bad news, and it brought some other monsters with it. And look. Whoa. I worked so hard to build a well. Now I can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but. What if the monster, or monster, monster, monster decides to raid us? I can't sleep. I can barely talk. I thought maybe I'd try to sneak attack from behind. You know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. If someone could at least get that big one to leave, we'll keep wishing, but for now, you really should steer clear of that forest. An uninvited guest. Amy has been losing sleep since terrifying monsters began lurking in the woods behind the wetland stable. He planned to creep up and defeat the biggest monster with a sneak attack, but it didn't work out. His options exhausted, he can only hope someone else will step in. Well, I definitely think we can help out with that one. We'll sort of just slowly make our way over. I am interested about this well that's super close though. And what are these? These are uh, these are new. So these are going to be splash fruit. Whoa, interesting. So we got a picture of the splash fruit. I can pick these up. A fruit that contains pressurized water. Cooking it brings out its ability to enhance swim speed when ingested. Very cool. So what stable is this? Probably just a wetland stable. Uh, or the wetlands. Uh, what's it called? Well. Sorry, okay, we got a frog over here. I can grab really quickly too. Couple of bright plume seeds. It doesn't look like there's anything super crazy interesting in here, but, oh wait, maybe I spoke too soon. I see some stuff up that way. And I see you, but you know what? Okay, I gotcha. Got some extra arrows. This is a golden one too, so this should drop some goodies. Boom, we got amber, ruby, and sapphire. Great. Five more arrows, which honestly, I really need the arrows, so I'm happy to see that. We'll also, Maybe break over, break open a barrel. Get some more arrows out of that. I'll grab some more sticky lizards and a bomb flower. Gotcha. <laughs> so many things to get here, and I guess we could just climb up from here. Okay. How about I run over here though really quickly? If these barrels do have more arrows, that's probably worth my while, right? That one doesn't. This one doesn't. But will this one? Come on, come on. There we go, there's one more arrow for that. I guess it's something. So what's up with the monster near this well? I might just be able to sneak up on them using Ascend. Not right here, but maybe over this way. I'll just pop up. Surprise attack, all that kind of stuff. Is it gonna be a... Whoa, actually they're Lysels. Okay, I thought they were gonna be like, like a boss Pokemon or something, but we'll pop out. Be real sneaky with it. Whoa, and there's a Moblin. What color of mob on it? That's a blue one. And then just a normal Lazophos. I think I call them Lysels, which that's what their weapons are. And what is that? That's a sign way over that way. Oh, 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 you heard nothing. No, I missed. Okay, well, that's not so good. Looks like a lot of them are trying to get me now. This is sort of messy. Whoa, they are really fast, really, really fast. So let's get something that'll keep distance from them. Um, oh no, come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, come on, just a few more shots. Oh, I dodged that move though, that was pretty good. Okay, okay, lots of big guys attack me right now. I don't like it, they're moving back though. You know what, Here, let's have our friend help out. No, no, I want, okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Weird. I was trying to get you know, but a healthy there, but we didn't seem super interested. We'll pick up the Lizalfa's monster parts. We get a Lizalfa's tail, a highly flexible, stretchable tail. Use it with a weapon to add a, a lashing whip-like ability to attacks. Cool. We're not quite done. I want to run back over. I'm I'm a little turned around. Where did they go? Uh oh, hey, there you are. Whoa. Okay, not the best timing though, unfortunately, with the second attack. He's trying to run away at the moment, but now it's three all in one. We can get him no problem. That was great. Oh, and we actually made some progress with an invited guest. Moblin Fang, Island Pinecone. There are more enemies coming out, but what is this? It's just a boomerang, but have I not picked up a boomerang before? I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, here, let me toss this for the time being. And then I will hit you a little bit. 
you're gonna try to hit me back, but I wanna pick this up. Boomerang, a decayed wooden boomerang, a useful tool that comes back after you throw it. Its current state has not lessened its performance. Interesting that I haven't gotten that picked up. I'm pretty sure I had. Anyways, we're at the south well, which I'm pretty sure is the same as the north well. A little odd in that way, but we got all the monsters. I'm going to break this stuff open. Just get whatever rewards I can out of this because I was a lot of work. And Eliza bow here too. Probably better than this Boko bow. So I'll take that. Anything else worth grabbing around here? More pine cones and stuff. There's a shield, which I don't know if I need. Don't think I do. Break some of this open. What do we got? More arrows and apples. Nothing too crazy. So let's see how the quest updated. You defeated the mob when living in the woods behind the wetland stable. Report this to Amy, whose fear of the monster is keeping him awake at night. All right, so we're heading right back over since we already went through that well. I don't think I need the boomerang too much. It's cool to have, and you can throw it, and obviously it'll come back. Actually, that's so cool. Maybe I will keep it, because that just won me over. It's just so fun. I don't know if uh, adding things to it will sort of throw off the weight of it at all, but yeah, here's Amy. M Mr. Customer. It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty monster. I knew it. I thought I saw you among the trees putting in the work and getting rid of that nasty monster. Amazing, thank you. I was so scared. I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything, but I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so I'll give you two pony points. Whoa, that's actually great. Thank you so much. Now I can welcome our customers with peace of mind. Thank you so much. I actually really appreciate that. So an uninvited guest complete he defeated the moblin living in the woods behind the wetland stable. Amy's fear of the monster had kept him awake at night, but now he should sleep soundly. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thanks to you, that nasty looking monster is gone. Maybe I can relax from now on, but I really wish my brothers were more useful. Brothers? Aww. Yep, he's around Yolero. They're no help at all. Yuzer went looking for some framing, farming tools he lent to Princess Zelda. And Yolero is slacking off somewhere. I haven't seen him around. Ah, but don't worry, I can do enough work for the, the three of us. You can rely on Wetland Stable anytime you're in the area. That's great. So I definitely want to see what extra rewards we got out of the points here. And oh, look! We got little Kukas! So cute! All right, well, very cool to see that. I'm not going to bother them. I've learned my lesson from plenty of other Zelda games uh, to leave them alone. But, what else do we have around here? Oh, is this where your brothers are? <laughs> I think so. Makes sense. So who is this? This is a uh, Galero. I've had it with the cleaning the stable. There has to be someone, some interesting news. Oh? Hmm. Matriarch revitalizes Kakariko Village. Zonai survey team's eyes turn to its ring ruins. Kakariko Village has become the latest tourist destination. And uh, as interest in the ring ruins keeps on growing. Oh. Hmm. I wondered what would happen when a big old ruin like that came out of nowhere. That chief must be hard at work if it got popular enough to be featured in the paper. Huh, interesting. Oh, we got a farming hoe here, which we definitely have a picture of, so. I mean, these didn't decay, so it might be good to pick one up, just for like durability's sake. I really don't need the spiny bone spear, so maybe I'll toss this one. There you go, grab that. And maybe I'll combine that with a weapon soon. I feel that'd be a pretty good idea. So they still seem upset. Even with all the work to be done, my brother Yolero is slacking off somewhere. The grass around the stable has gone wild. If he doesn't come back to take care of it soon. Do you know what who, what loves rain like this? Grass, that's what. Okay, well, hopefully they can settle their issues. It doesn't seem to be a quest for me, though. So where is Isra? Oh, hey, it's you. Aren't you the gem buyer? This rain, when will it end? Mm -hmm. Hey, kid. Wanted a shelter from the rain? That makes two of us. Oh, no, you actually might be a different person. We, we might as well have a chat while we're wringing ourselves dry, huh? Ah. The sound of rain reminds me of a foe I once met. He was coming in, uh, coming out of a cave and he looked trench. When I asked why, he said, it's pouring in there. Uh. Turns out some caves have rain falling inside. You believe that? Mm. Your I thought caves were where you went to get dry on rainy days, not to get wet on clear ones. Huh, interesting. Oh, here's Beetle too. There's a couple of people in here now. There was before. <laughs> ah, where were you looking for me? I'm honored. But Beetle doesn't play favorites, and if I did, it would be Beetle's every time. Well then, can I tempt you to buy, or are you selling today? You have to have some new stuff, right? Anything we don't have actually doesn't look like it. So, uh, and the splash fruit is here, which is pretty cool, but I have plenty of all that, so thank you for your business. Do you need anything else? I don't think so. Thank you, I look forward to your next visit. And what about you? This is Gladys. Yeah. Hello there. 
black. You're the one who was searching for the same bubble frog I was, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. After we met, curiosity got the better of me and I decided to go looking for a bubble frog in the cave. But that was not a great idea. Caves are dark and there's no way to know what's lurking around in there. Plus, that strange duo, they just up and disappeared from Old End Stable. Oh. After that, I didn't really know what to do with myself, so I did some wandering and some thinking too. And it ended up here. And you know, I've decided that I'm a careful man, and I'll take comfort and safety over rewards and riches any day. Gotcha. Well, at least you know your priorities, and how about you? Mm -hmm. This is Rick. Need something? Better make it quick. I'm supposed to be on my way to the Ring Ruins in Kakarika Village. Kakarika uh. Village? If you head south on the road from this stable, you'll come upon a crossroad that takes you to the mountains. Head all the way down that crossroad, and you'll be in Kakarika Village. It's a bit easier to find after the Ring Ruins fell, since you can use them as a landmark. The Ring Ruins? Mm. You probably know, know that the Fallen Zonai Ruins have been found all over the world since the upheaval. Well, the ones at Kakariko Village have been dubbed the Ring Ruins, owing to their distinctive circular shapes. They also some There's also some stone slabs there with words like Sage and Demon King carved in Zonai script. Oh. The leader of our team, the best in the world at deciphering Zonai script, is heading up the investigation in person. It's all very, very exciting. I just wish the place was a little easier to get to. Oh. I should get going too. My fellow researchers will start wondering where I am. <sighs> then again, with this rain muddying up the road, I might slip and break my neck. Well, maybe I'd better hold off a little longer. All right, well, it's good to know how everything is unfolding across Hyrule. I still haven't found Ezra. Ezra was somewhere. So if I look around for them a little bit, I'm sure I'll, I'll find them. Oh, maybe down here. That seems about right, but also this fruit. I wanna grab more of this fruit. Just because it's a new one, I'd like to build up a little bit of a collection. So hi there, what's going on? I mean, really, why? Uh... Here you are. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. You saw the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with Penn from the newspaper, right? I do. Ah. I didn't wanna get this out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda, but she borrowed our stable's farm tools and has to give them back. Whoa, ah. that was a long time ago, but I do remember she said she needed them for something at Fort Sandbar. It's around the river, and then a good distance after that. Ah. I'd take the raft there myself, but after all that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. So you might say I'm in a bind. Huh. Ah. <sighs> I know we could clear up this mess if someone could take me down, down river to Fort Sandbar on the raft. The missing farm tools. Princess Zelda borrowed tools from a stable some time ago and headed down river to Florida Sandbar. Ezra wants to go that same way on his raft, but worries about running into ruins that now clutter the river. If only someone would take him down the river on the raft. I think we could do that for sure. Before we get too started with it, I mean, if I'm going way down a river somewhere, I should probably, first I'll just grab some easy food, but where is that one shrine? I wanna to get to that shrine and get that done just so that we have a quick travel back here. So yeah, we have a couple things to do. I wanna start with that side quest. I wanna get this shrine done. All good things to focus on. So it was right by all the monsters we were fighting, I suppose. So just gotta get over there. What is that over there? Oh, it's another Korok to help out. We'll have to do that soon too. The laundry list of things to do just gets longer and longer. I say that as if it's a chore. It's not, it's a lot of fun, but it's just a lot of work. We've got the Tukarok shrine as our next one. Let's get to it. So here we are at the first shrine of today. Forward first, or force. <laughs> Tukarok Shrine. Uh, what do we gotta do here then? Looks like I have to put some kind of giant ball into that socket. All these doors are closed. So maybe over this way? Seems like it to me. There it is. How am I getting it up? I think for right now, probably a good idea to put it on this car and then just drive it across. So, grab it, put it right here. With this one though, as you can see, there's not really any kind of driving mechanism. Obviously, we have our own. I don't know if I was supposed to use my own, but how do I wanna do this? I could just drive it. I don't have too many of these steering sticks though. Oh, can I not take these out during a shrine? I can't, so never mind. There has to be our own way to solve this. There's a few things over there that I can't quite get to like this, so maybe for now? Hmm. I mean, maybe I'm overthinking this. Can I just hit these and will they roll forward? I think so. Yes, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that the wheels are magic in that way. Okay, can I get onto this though before it's too late? Wait, wait, wait. There you go. 
And then I can just pick up the whole thing. There we go. It's probably a lot simpler. Now, what's the deal with this? Okay, um, you can turn off now. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with this. I mean, this thing moves all the way up. Uh. Okay. I'm a little confused on what we're trying to do here. I, I think that like, okay, here's my idea. If we attach this, I wanna move it closer to me. Go like this. Attach it here. Not quite the angle I'm looking for. Here. Detach it. I don't like how it's doing that. Uh, so we'll detach it again. Something like this, much better. And if I were just to attach this here, wouldn't I, in theory, be able to just extend it outward, use the recall, climb all the way up that way, you go like this, and then push it out, go, 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 just as far as I can make it go out. Yes, so, do that, and then if I get up there and recall it, if I'm not mistaken, I'd just be able to wiggle it off from there. Oh, the, will the whole thing follow? Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Got it, okay. I don't know if that's the intended solution, but here we are. Um, and now I can just push it down this way. And I can bring any of the other stuff up too. Um, here, got it, it should roll down. I haven't seen the treasure chest just yet, so before we move too much farther, let's just take a good look around, make sure I'm not missing anything, and it doesn't seem like it. I may, might need some of the other stuff soon enough, but for right now, I'll leave that there. We got this raft with the wheels. What's up here? It seems like there's a lot going on. There's another, is that the ball? Or is that another ball? No, okay, the ball just ran, roll, rolled all the way over there. So I'm heading up this way. Oh, my stamina is through. I don't want to waste the, uh, the free stamina wheel. I'm not seeing a chest anywhere. It could be in the water. Huh. Yeah, I'm really not seeing it, so. I mean, for right now, it seems like I'm supposed to... What does standing on this button do? Okay, it just opens that up. Not too big of a deal. So this seems pretty simple to me. Oh, there it is. So that's the chest I'm looking for. I will swim just all the way to the other side of this. Because I don't think I could quite just grab that from the surface. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh wow, I can. Is that really just the one hidden chest here? Guess we'll find out. I'll kick this open. And we get the strong zonite sword. A strong zonite sword made of zonite. It resonates with the attached zonite devices to increase some of its attack power. Let me drop the uh, farming hill really quickly. Cause I don't know if we've had this one before. This one seems a little bit different, doesn't it? Um, let me just make extra sure about this. I haven't. So the strong zonite sword, get in a picture of that for sure. And what weapon might I want to drop? I have a lot of cool stuff right now. I think I'll just drop, I guess the boomerang? We'll drop the, the spear spear. I'll pick up the, um, no, come on. There we go. Um, both of these. And then we'll get back to this. Gotta focus on the puzzle we're trying to solve here. So would this not be strong enough? That's sort of where, what I'm questioning at the moment. Is there like an issue with this? Would it maybe topple over? I think that's the problem. Oh, I see. The water is way too deep here for that to be a thing. So, let me get rid of that. Bring it over to where the water might be more shallow or something. I'm a little confused on... Still seem... Oh. I wonder if we can make them into paddles. Is that a thing I could do? Let's try it out. I mean, this might be a little too... Wide? If I did this, and then I actually might just want to detach this thing entirely. Get it out of here. Hmm. I just have a little bit of an idea here. Because I'm trying to think of, you know, how sort of different kinds of boats work. The only problem is it's like way out. I like I need to be farther out. So. I don't know if this is gonna work. 
<laughs> it might not, but I think you can maybe try to see the idea of what I have here. So what if I were just to do that? Yeah, that, okay, it almost sort of works. Conceptually, it's like pushing it forward, but I just, I don't think we'll get the stability we'll need from that, so let's tell everything to chill out for a second here. There we go. Um, what would solve that? I might be overthinking this entirely. I mean, I can't spawn things in is a problem, so. Huh. Maybe I'll just uh, attach this here. Not there, come on. Uh, a little bit closer, there. What extra stability, I know it's like underneath it at the moment. We'll do that, oh my bow broke. I mean, it's working. Whoa, this is sort of working. <laughs> this is so ridiculous though too, I love it. Let's pick up my arrows that I use. I mean, it's slowly but surely getting there. If I can, oh, it's getting a little caught up though, darn. Let's see, can I just sort of strain it out a little bit, push it out a little bit more? I'm just gonna go over to the other side as fast as I can and see if it stays there. This is actually really cool. Okay, it's gonna come with the ladder normally, just like that. Cause it's there, it made it to the other side. I cannot believe it. That is so cool. So I'll fly over. And I mean, for the most part, that's the puzzle solved. So if I just get this up here like this, we got it. So I just need to try to get that out of there. Move this out of the way. Very nice. I don't know if that, that thing is still on. It doesn't seem like it, but we made a, sort of a makeshift paddle boat in one way or another. Really neat. And we already got the treasure chest out of this one, so we can just open this up and get out of here. What a fun trine. Yeah, I definitely don't see anything else around here. So we can finish this shrine up, get ourselves another orb, and that way we can quick travel to the stable whenever we need to. All right, we're back out here. Now with that all figured out, I think we're at a point where we're, we should be fine just to figure out the missing farm tools. That's what I'm really curious about, so let's get over to it. So that was, I think, way over here. We're back at the wetland stable. And we're still at the Lanairu wetlands. You can see more of the island pieces falling over there. We'll check that out eventually. One day, that's for sure. But for now, I wanna fly all the way over here because I'm really curious about like what's going on with this. We have this little raft and there's even a little seat. Can I sit on the seat? I don't think so, I think that's for them. Um, but I see a steering wheel. So I will put that right about here. Yeah, just in the center. This could be really cool. What is this? This is a battery. So that's gonna keep us nice and sustained. And it looks like we have at least one little fan. I mean, maybe that's all we need. I don't wanna go too crazy with it, but maybe some extra steering would be helpful. So let's see, is there any other gizmos or gadgets over here? There isn't. Um, so if we are going with one fan, which I will for now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whole thing is moving around. Uh, I want it dead center. Well, not what I want it. Uh, Sometimes it can get really picky, like, oh my goodness. So dramatic. I don't think I can connect it down here, can I? Yes, I can. It was just being silly. All right, do you wanna hop on? Ah. Uh, I wonder why Princess Zelda won't give the stables tools back. I wanna go down river to Fort Sandbar. I can take you. Uh. What, you mean that fella? You'll take me to, to, to Fort Sandbar? Ah. Thanks, can't tell you how much I appreciate you offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. All right, here we go. So, I guess we just cut it like that. Hold it. Here we go. This should be fun. Cause isn't it? Is it steering it? It is. This is so neat. So off we go. We got ourselves a little river adventure. And I can't tell exactly where we're headed, but for right now it doesn't look too bad. Careful at the river bend. I'm trying my best. This is so fun. See all the constellations up in the sky too, cause it's nighttime. Uh oh, is it a camp over there? Is it gonna be monsters throwing stuff at us? There's more fish swimming around. Oh wow, I wonder what that island up there is. It's a lot of neat, neat stuff. Past those ruins. I mean, it seems like everything around here is a ruin. Uh oh, what's that? I seemed a little concerned for a moment, but I think we're okay. We still have a little bit to go though. We're trying to get to that sandbar. Oh man, 
a lot of river to travel here. But luckily, you know, I can keep good control and everything. It's not the fastest mode of travel, but you know, sometimes, okay, it's straight down river. Sometimes you don't need a fast mode of travel. Sometimes you just sort of need to enjoy the trip. Well, looks like that's another little Korok there. Need to reach my friend, I'm sorry, buddy. We'll help you at some point, I'm sure. And I think it might be that fire straight ahead. Oh, I'm about to hit the water a little bit. Let's try to move over if I can. It's not the most direct steering. Of course, with it being you know, in the water, you sort of have to drift around with it. Stop near that rock. This rock? I mean, how much, can I stop on this thing? I don't know. Uh, stop here? Which would be a little bit more specific. Uh, I think he means this one. Yeah, because this is what the marker has us stopping at. So we'll just sort of stop at the dock. Oh, I'm almost out of battery too. I mean, perfect timing actually. So the battery will just dissipate when it's out, but we made it. That's great. Ah. Woohoo, we made it. Oh. You did a great job getting us here. We would learn to handle, to handle a raft like that. I thought it'd be a rough run, but it all turned out fine. Guess so, huh? Up in the sky, there's something, or someone coming at us. What? Uh-oh. Oh, hey, it's Ben. Ooh, finally caught up with you two. I was flying around this whole area, partner, partner, trying to find our facts when I saw you, you on this raft. I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right on down to help, but uh, where are we? Hey! What do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is, is for flowers and plants, all of them, precious. You better watch out. You'll rue the day when you trample on any of them. It's the flower lady, wasn't she in the last game? Uh-oh. Whoa, who's this? Ever met her before, partner? S sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Huh? Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them. Wait a minute, farm tools? Do you say something about farm tools? Huh. That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Huh. Oh well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place with her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, mm. but the princess, well, they, th they say she went missing. Oh. And all of our hard work was ruined when Oh, these darn ruins crashed down. It's been really awful. I've been working so hard since then to make, the, make it all nice again. Oh. Really? That's what happened? Now that I think about it, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed our stable's tools back. Oh. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me if you're done. Now I feel guilty for some reason. I didn't think to, I didn't mean to make you hurry up. Mm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds just like our princess to find to find time to work on a garden alongside folks while restoring Hyrule. Uh, I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. It's just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Uh, sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer. And here's a tip: don't overwork the soil. And also, nope, that's all I got. Uh, what's with the face? Mama. You said you'll help. I accept your offer. Uh, what? I didn't say that. What? Well, close enough. So, what if you don't s say what you really think? I will not hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said? I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the princess returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip for me. Put your back into it. Ah. <sighs> Can't talk my way out of this one. She'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay, fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here, or down it. Either way, I'll help. Oh. You can go, I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? I guess so. Ah. Well, seems like we got those facts we wanted, and th those two worked it all out, I guess? Can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Expect the story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. Mm. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. We get a purple rupee for that one, very cool. Oh, there's also this. It's from Tracy. 
We got a Lucky Clover Gazette fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Lucky Clover Gazette design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. So Ateno Village's dye shop in Nakluda has started up a new service. It has something to do with fabrics. I know, I know. I'm basically giving you an extra job by handling over this fabric, but still. The, the point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. It would be nice if Tracy handled the things a bit more simply though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. I'm off to report back to Tracy. See you around, partner. <laughs> so long. All right, always great to hang out and help out Penn. And of course, with it, we completed the side adventure, The Missing Farm Tools. You discovered why Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's tools and failed to return them. She was working on a garden at Florit Sandbar with Magda, but that was shortly before the princess vanished during the upheaval. Penn was relieved to get the real story, a rare glimpse of something special few, but the princess knew about. Very cool. So let's see what's going on around here. There's a lot of flowers being grown at Florit Sandbar. I guess we'll sort of talk and catch up to some of you. I have to hurry. Now then, there's no time to rest. I need to restore Hyrule's best garden as soon as possible, so it's ready for when the princess returns. All right, well, maybe we can help out at some point. We do have the uh, Sunderlines here, which I'm pretty sure we have a picture of, yep. And we'll have to maybe gather some of those when she isn't looking, because I don't think she'd be too happy about it, but. Oh, we got a cool fountain here too. And a lot of the ruins really have crashed down on this. Ooh, what are these? This is a farmer's pitchfork. Very nice, so at least we know where these are now. I might try to pick this up, just so I can know. Oh no, I can't! Are you a professional experienced flower gardener? No. Then hands off, pal. Not everyone knows how to handle us right. Ah. That's what the farm tools you tried to touch would be griping, if they could gripe. I need those, need those to work on the best garden in Hyrule, so could you please keep your hands off? All right, I'm sorry. What about you, Zara? All I wanted was those missing farm tools. I didn't expect anything like this. But for Princess Zelda, I'll work my hardest. Look at you, a real go-getter. And speaking of which, we have the Silent Princess here. Very cool, so I'll grab a picture of these and then we'll pick them up too. Which I, I have gotten them before, I guess I just forgot to take a picture. What about this one? This is the blue nightshade, very pretty. So a lot of interesting plant life we can find around here that we typically wouldn't find all in one place, like the uh, Worm Saflina as well. And what is this one? This is new, this is the electric saflina. Definitely gonna get this too. So we're gonna pick this up and take a look. Electric saflina, this medicinal plant grows abundantly in the Gerudo Desert. Its peculiar fibers conduct electricity, which will increase your electricity resistance when cooked into a dish. All right, awesome. And over here, what do we have? This is something new too, the mighty thistle. Whoa. So I'll pick this one up. This medicinal plant is known for its sharp thorns and for the fruit it bears. The fruit contains a compound that increases attack power when cooked into a dish. Isn't that great? So we've done a lot of good work in today's episode, sort of exploring around more of Hyrule, of course, and helping them out here at the sandbar. Hopefully we'll see some new stuff soon with that. But oh, this is another new one, hold on. We got the Armoranth. Okay, so let's pick it up. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. It's durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. Very nice. So there we go, even another new plant for us. Glad that we're growing our collection a little bit of everything across Hyrule. But we'll be exploring more Hyrule as we try to make our way into Zora's Domain in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.